Drone noise can be extremely annoying. They can be very loud, but they can also have this high-pitched tonal noise, which really goes directly in your head. So we visited a company in South Korea, which has developed a new technique. They actually applied the shape that you would also see on the fins of whales with these tubercles on the side to reduce the noise on drone propellers. So we went to visit them and to just illustrate how big the difference is in both the volume and the tonal or the frequency spectrum, have a look at this video. The original DJI props. Like the high pitch noise is lower, right? Much lower. Yeah. Already you can tell how it's now to get a bit more of in the, a bit more understanding of how the airflow works around these propeller blades without uncovering too much detail of this new invention, let's have a look at some CFD simulation results. So we ran a simulation on both the stock DJI propeller and the Silent Sky design. So first of all, you can see that there's actually a double bladed design on the Silent Sky design versus a single bladed design on the DJI. Um, setup. So nothing out of the ordinary here, so a really nice suction side here creating the forward th thrust on the propeller or upward and at the back you have the pressure side, so this all looks normal. If you look at the same illustration on the Silent Sky design, it looks very similar um, with one difference and that is that you have a bit of loss of lift at the root of the blades which could be due to the angle of attack um, and can also be due to the interference effect because the pressure at uh, the pressure side of this blade is actually cancelling out, cancelling out some of the suction effect on this blade. Nevertheless, um, it could also be one of the factors contributing to a different uh, noise footprint but definitely an area that could perhaps be looked at in the future. If we move towards the surface friction then, we can see that there is nicely parallel streamlines um, following the circular motion of the blades. It's only close to the root of the blades here that we see some radially outward motion here. Um, same at the rear, but it's actually all quite nice. If you look at the same visualization on the Silent Sky design, this is where it gets really interesting. Because if you look at the surface streamlines, you can really see how they, at each tubercle, divert away um, from the thickest or longest point and, and try to dive into the valley in between them. And this really helps to change um, the footprint, the noise footprint of this design. You can also see that the radially outward motion here is a bit more pronounced and uh, that is the same on the pressure side as well, especially in this area where the two blades interact. Um, and of course, two blades uh, instead of um, just one blade per side makes a big difference in terms of how they come across each other's wake and how they strengthen or dampen um, any frequencies that you have there. We also analyzed the performance. I will skip the noise, that's a bit too interesting. Um, but the performance here, you can see that the air gets drawn in from the sides and then accelerated through the center. And we automatically calculate the torque, the power and the thrust of the propeller. This one is actually quite efficient. It has a low torque and power value for a reasonable thrust of 1.5 newtons. The Silent Sky design has a higher total thrust, which makes sense because there's just more area of the propeller blades, which also gives it a bit more maneuverability, um, but it comes at a higher cost in terms of torque and power. So the thrust per power output is slightly lower on this propeller, but it definitely is something that can still be improved and that helps to keep the noise down. So really interesting design. So we see that this can really help to bring down the noise on propeller blades. Um, this is important for social acceptance in urban environments and the same goes for eVTOLs, so electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. For example, if you look at the wingtip design of the blades on the Joby Aviation um, design, it's really interesting to see how they've really optimized that shape, very likely to reduce uh, the noise footprint. 
Um, we have a separate video on this, so stay tuned on the comparison of the noise fit print uh, of the Joby with other aircraft. If you have experiences yourself with reducing the noise on propellers, uh, what is the impact? Is it the diameter? Is it the angle? Is it the roughness? Anything that you have, just drop it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.